Her name is Mushishi. She is also four, but Max is two months older than Mushishi. So we found Maurice when he was two or three days old, approximately, and we found him from the oldest area. He was dropped by his mother when he was a little boy, and this happened one day when the mother jumped from one branch to another and she dropped him accidentally. She dropped him because Bush babies carry their babies with their mouth. So in case they are twins, they get problems to take them all. <laughs> it was lucky to find Maurice because it happened in the hospital because he will die. We took him and gave to Jenny, the founder of Chicken Frog. For Maurice was free to jump as I like. He was also free to do whatever he like. That's why that's why you see the others today in What did I do? <laughs> Open up your eyes and see all the fun and mystery. Take an African adventure with Dan and Destiny. From the mountains to the shore, so many things to explore. Take an African adventure with Dan and Destiny. The Adventures of Darren and Destiny. And Darren and Destiny are twin brother and sister. And you go on their adventures throughout the African diaspora, meaning so African diaspora destinations, primarily focused in Africa, but we go to South America, we're gonna to go to the Caribbean. Their first book is going to take you to Ghana. And then we're gonna go on a safari. And from there, we're gonna to go to Ethiopia. And then we go to Salvador, Brazil. And what the goal is, is to be able to inspire curiosity in the continent of Africa, in our children from a very young age, and to really tell a more accurate story. Most of our children are exposed to negative images, late night infomercials about how bad things are, everybody's sick, everybody's poor, everyone's uneducated, but that's simply not true. So what Darren and Destiny and their family do is they go to different African destinations. They are learning about these different places. You're beginning to see positive images, but still telling the truth. I mean, that's the important thing, to tell the truth about some of the things that have occurred. But it's all done on a children's level so they begin to understand it. And it begins to pique their curiosity. They begin to learn more. And hopefully one day they will want to explore and visit the continent of Africa and its many countries. There's just so much that Darren and Destiny are able to do and as they're doing it, it's, it's like they begin to open the minds of a, a new generation and they don't get bombarded and indoctrinated with negativity. They're actually able to see positivity and inspiring images and messages about the African diaspora as well as those who are still indigenous to the continent of Africa and they begin to learn more and, uh, and just see things differently. So I'm excited about introducing the adventures of Darren and Destiny.